Right, it's time for another Fender Custom Shop unboxing video. Uh, we've got, uh, well, we had a shipment come in last week of 20 or so lovely Fender Custom Shop guitars. Uh, a few have already been sold already, but uh, we just want to show you uh, what we've got, you know, and um, we've got them all ready so they can be demoed tomorrow by Jack and up on the website as soon as possible. So, um, yeah, why don't we get started? What have we got first? So, yes, this is an uncasing not an unboxing because, you know, no one wants to see me uh, getting out of breath, lifting guitar cases out of, uh, out of boxes. So let's start with a, with a hit. Bosch, look at this. So this one, you might have already seen actually up on the website already. We just wanted to include this one because it is a bit special. Everybody loves Dale Wilson guitars, apart from people that hate relics, um, which there are a few, but we know every, you know, I love relics, so we want to give you another look at it. So this is a 60s Tele Custom. This one's a little bit different because it's got a really nice kind of tortoiseshell binding, which works really well because if it just had that white binding, kind of it might get a little bit kind of lost because it's quite a, you know, a light pale color against that sort of creamy vintage white kind of color. So it looks super duper killer. You know, we've, we've gone on about Dow's guitars for years. For, for many good reasons. My uh, number one Strat is still a Dale, is a Dale Wilson 59 Strat, and I play that over all of my uh, vintage guitars and stuff that I've got because it just sounds so good. So let's have a look, see what the specs are of this one. So this one's a 60 Tele Custom, an aged vintage white, uh, all the body. It's got uh, a 65C profile neck shape, 9.5 inch radius, 6105 frets uh, and it's pickup wise it's got hand wound 63 tele pickups which to me are more kind of like that 60s soul kind of guitar sound more like that kind of uh, steve cropper kind of vibe rather than the powerful no cast uh, you know super thick almost like paf type sound that you can get out of some telecasters so really great versatile sound and you know they've got some real classic 60s kind of twang to it so they sound great that was kind of the only one I knew really that was in here. So we're going to go for a bit of a kind of a random order with some of these just to just to speed things up. OK, so what have we got next? There we go. Wow, look at that. So something very different to the last one. So this is a nice shiny guitar, American Custom Strat. This one's in a nice kind of chocolate three tone burst finish with a torty guard. As you can see, it's got a really killer bird's eye maple, well, a roasted bird's eye maple neck. Locking tuners, you've got that contoured heel. So this guitar is very much a kind of, a, you know, vintage sort of look, but you've got that 22 fret. So it's almost kind of like a, a custom shop take on like a, an ultra elite, you know, American pro kind of thing. So custom shop quality, but a little bit more modern. Um, let's check out some of the pickup specs and stuff on this one. So that one's an ash body, which you can see quite clearly because of the grain on there. But let's have a look at, see what we've got going on with pickups and frets and stuff like that. So yeah, ash body, it's a roasted bird's eye 2A grade neck, compound fingerboard radius that's 9.5 to 12 inch with a 60s style oval C neck shape, 6105 frets. Let's see what these pickups are. So this has got hand wound uh, fat 64 pickups. They sound great, these pickups. They're very much kind of like that um, transition 64, 65 type pickup. You know, if you're into that sort of the more lower output John Mayer kind of sound, it's a really great starting point for that kind of tone. So yeah, moving on, very, very nice. So, well, look at the uh, inside of that case. That looks cool. Not seen one like that before. So, greeted with a nice Blackguard style telly here. Uh, let's check some of the specs of this one. Okay, where are we at? So this is a 52 Telecaster in a Journeyman Relic finish. Don't know how well you can see that kind of lightly aged kind of finish there. 
just looks like a you know the whole thing with the journey man it's supposed to be like a guitar that's just been gigged once in a blue moon and kind of just well looked after so you know it's kind of really cool authentic you know real looking wear that you would get on a you know 60 plus year old instrument uh, let's check some of these specs out then so uh, ash body like you'd expect from a 50 style telly it's got a 57 style soft v-neck profile uh, compound radius but not too flat so it starts off with that really nice kind of vintage 7.25 and just flattens out to a 9.5 radius i think sometimes when you go too flat on a telly with uh you know the three saddle bridge it could kind of lose a little bit of that classic telly like fight and twang and an and overall feel and stuff like that but that's just my personal opinion so i think that compound radius does work really nice with a three saddle bridge like this uh, the pickups are hand wound blackguard uh, 51 blackguard pickups 6105 frets apologies if i've said that already we've done the compound radius age no cast a blonde finish yeah i mean it's not really much more that needs to be said about a guitar like that it's just a a really great straight up you know almost like a museum piece it looks looks killer really nice weight as well so i look i look forward to hearing that one in action all right Go with some tweed this time. Right, here we go. Ah, oh, nice. So here we have a Tele Custom and quite an unusual combination of a, a 50s kind of style uh, look, because you've got the maple neck there, obviously. So it's like a 50s Tele Custom. Right, so it's a 59 Tele Custom, so kind of like a cool transition period guitar. Uh, all the body, it's got hand wound Texas Tele pickups in there, a 9.5 inch radius, a 59 D profile neck shape, 6105 frets. Um, it's got the Gatton compensated saddles on there as well. So yeah, it's kind of like a nice hybrid between kind of a late 50s and then early 60s kind of uh, uh, topped off with that nice double bound body. Yeah, and with those uh, Texas special pickups, I reckon that's gonna have a pretty hot, punchy kind of sound to it when, uh, when we get it plugged in. So let's move on to the next one. Lovely, look at that. So I'm getting some serious kind of Gilmore number one vibes here with this one, albeit very shiny. Check out the neck on that. That's got some absolutely beautiful figure in there. So I think, again, this is part of that American custom series of custom shop guitars. So very much kind of vintage looking guitar, but with a few more modern tweaks. So you have, you know, like the roasted neck and stuff on there which is nice because it has the, uh, the uh, headstock truss rod adjuster on there as well. Locking tuners, that contoured heel, the 22nd fret. Just a really, really killer looking guitar, you know, with that anodized guard. And it's hard to tell, but that really, really does look like a, a one piece body. Is it a one piece? I should have put my glasses on, but either way, some really stunning figuring in that ash body. Great looking guitar that is. So let's check some of these specs. Again, these are great guitars for someone that just wants to kind of buy the best that Fender can get and still can't get their head around the, the relicking kind of thing, but it's still a great option, you know, for, uh, for anyone that is into kind of relics that just wants something that's a little bit kind of more modern looking and sounding, I guess. So this one has got hand wound fat 60s pickups. It's got the 10 to 56 V neck profile on there 9.5 inch radius 6105 frets uh you've got uh what else have we got on there that i haven't already said yeah so ash body yeah i think that's probably it but yeah just a really really killer looking and undoubtedly sounding guitar which we'll find out tomorrow so give you one last quick look it's quite nice that they're doing that instead of the uh the walnut skunk stripe it's got a uh, a non-roasted skunk stripe there as well, maple, so 
something a little bit different. Very, very nice. Just side this time. All right, here we go. So another Tele Custom. This time in a super heavy age color over color finish. I actually think this one's a heavy relic rather than being uh, the super heavy relic ones that they're doing now. Um, yeah, I've, I've always, you know, the jewelry's always been out a little bit on the color over color finishes, but this is a combination that I've always liked. I like the uh, sonic blue over sunburst and black over sunburst are the ones that kind of I, I've, you know, I've always really liked and thought of, have looked great. So let's check out some of these specs. So this is obviously a more 60s type Telecaster as you can tell from the rosewood board, but you can never tell these days from uh, some of the specs that are uh, put down on some of these spec sheets. So, yeah, so this one is a 60 Tele Custom. Uh, yeah, seafoam green over three-tone burst, oval C neck profile, 6105 frets, hand-wound twisted Tele pickups, which are one of my favourite sounding Tele sets because it's got a really kind of great sounding bridge pickups, really muscly kind of thick tone. Somewhere in between kind of like a, a 50s and a 60s style telly pickup. But the, the neck pickup for me is where it's at with this combination because you get all those great telly twang and bitey kind of sounds. But it's got a really round muscular sounding kind of uh, strat neck pickup. So that's a really cool combination. It's got a, uh, yeah, I did the neck shapes in my twisted telly pickups. Yeah, I think I've kind of been through it. All double body binding as you would expect on a telly custom. So I'll give you one more quick look at that. So yeah, very nice. Beautiful. Oh, is this another American custom? Let's check. We'll check the specs on this one. Oh, this is, wow, look at this. That's killer. So that is a, let's check what, well, now it's a Telecaster before anyone says, but let's see what the, uh, what year they've based this on. Because it's a little bit different, this neck on this, the first thing that I've noticed. So it's a 60 Tele, and what made me think it was a 60 was because, I don't know if you can, you're probably not going to see there on the Instagram live viewers, people that are watching this, but it's actually got a, uh, like a slab maple fingerboard, so like a, what you would get on a, a 1960 telly normally would be a, obviously a slab rosewood fingerboard. So this is a maple neck back with a maple fretboard, as you can see with really beautiful roasted woods. Wow, that is, that is something else. That is super duper light as well. Beautiful figured grain dashed body. Let's check some of these specs out. I think that's probably my, uh, my favorite so far, I think, you know, I'm generally a bit more of a relic guy because I'm myself a relic. Right, so pickup wise, I'm liking it even more. It's got the twisted telly pickups in there as well, hand round, of course. Vintage blonde finish. Uh, so it's got a large C neck profile, 9.5 inch radius and 6105 frets. And it's, yeah, it's obviously a real killer looking guitar with, uh, you know, with that, that gorgeous ash body and the figured maple neck. I mean, in terms of it being a 1960 telly, obviously it takes its inspiration with that by having a fretboard rather than it being a, uh, uh, you know, a 50s type, which would have had a skunk stripe on it. But yeah, it's just a really, really killer guitar. Great weight again as well. So, and you get the 60s uh, threaded saddles, which have a kind of a different tone, I think anyway, slightly less um, brash sounding than what a, uh, a brass saddle can be. So yeah, look forward to hearing that one. go we're back into beating up guitar land now so a nice 50 style strap there it's kind of like a almost like a chocolate style burst i need to check the specs on this one but yeah just a good straight up 50s strap you know looks like it's ready to go let's check that out Boom. 
Right, so that is a 58 Strat Relic. Yeah, and that's got the faded aged chocolate three-tone sunburst finish. Good way of kind of uh, telling that if you ever get one of these in your hands and you're not sure. Like this, uh, the chocolate burst has got kind of slightly more like um, of a brown kind of, uh, where you would normally have black here, it's kind of a, just a slightly darker brown kind of chocolatey, uh, hence the name, colour, which is nice. So kind of a nice softer edge against the maple rather than having that black burst finish around the edge. So uh, that is a 54 soft V neck profile with a 9.5 inch radius. You've got hand wound fat 50s pickups, which are really good solid choice, especially because this guitar has a, an alder body as well. So alder with a maple neck, I think is a really great combination because yeah, like you obviously do get a bit of, a uh, bit of both there of the, uh, you know, the twang of a 50s one, but a little bit more punch and like smoother kind of uh, high end than what you would get from, you know, an ash body guitar. So 6105 frets, apologies if I've said this already, 9.5 radius and that 54 Strat Soft V neck profile. So yeah, another killer, great, great looking guitar. And uh, I reckon that's gonna have a great, sweet punchy tone to it. So there you go. Fingers aren't working. There you go. Oh yeah, we might have a new favourite. Where's Dr. Evil when you need him? Check this out. So that is, I think that is Aztec gold, but really, really nice aged finish on this one. Pretty chunky neck that I'm feeling on this one straight away. Let's check out some of the specs. There's a big boy neck on that one. That is nice. So that is a, Aged Aztec Gold 63 Strat Relic. All the body, it's got hand wound Texas Special pickups in there. It's got a roasted quarter sawn maple neck. It has 6105 frets and a 9.5 inch radius. I think this is one of those guitars where before I even plug it in, I just know kind of how it's gonna sound. I mean, it's just got that really cool aged vibe to it. It just feels kind of like a really nice vintage guitar as well. That's going to have a really punchy, mighty sound, I reckon. So that would be great. Can't wait to hear that one. Another tweed. Lovely. There we go. I think this one is actually, even though to me it looks like faded candy tangerine or candy tangerine, I think it is actually faded candy apple red. But either way, great looking guitar, lovely weight. Let's check some specs out. Where are we? There we go. Right, so this one is a 58 Strat Relic, faded aged candy apple red. So this is, yeah, similar specs to that chocolate burst one that we had uh, a couple back. So it has got the uh, 54 Strat uh, soft V neck profile, 9.5 inch radius and 6105 frets. Hand wound fat 50s pickups and it's got that older body again that I was talking about which gives you that really good combination of um, 50s and 60s Strat tones. So yeah, really great looking guitar. That's definitely a favorite color of ours at Peach. Killer, great. Right, a few more to go. I'll say a few more. It's a decent amount. Oh yeah. Fiesta Red Jazzmaster. Look at that. Very cool. I can see there's a few extra things going on here as well with the RSD bridge, which is kind of Bender's take on uh, you know, dealing with the quirks that you can sometimes get of uh, this sort of bridge, you know, which people often uh, change like jazz masters and jaggers to a mastery bridge, but this is kind of their take on that. So it's kind of almost like a telly bridge uh, plate, but with, uh, you know, um, better intonation and also, yeah, those strings sit in there really nicely. So you don't get that thing where you hit the low E and it just pops off the saddle. 
So let's check out some of these specs. So that's a really nice faded Fiesta red finish for that Torty guard. Very nice. So let's get the full specs of this one. So officially this is a 62 Jazzmaster in a Journeyman relic finish. So it's got hand wound Jazzmaster pickups in there. It doesn't say a specific year or anything like that. I don't think they particularly make a massive different range of Jazzmaster and Jag pickups, but it'll be a period correct 60 style pickup. Uh, maple rift saw neck, AAA grade rosewood fingerboard, 9.5 inch radius. Uh, the frets are medium vintage, so 47095, which I think are a Stu Mac uh, fret, but I have to just double check that. So yeah, it's kind of just like a nice 60s style jazz master, just with a slightly more solid bridge basically. So tuning stability is going to be a little bit nicer. Plus, you know, if you're, if you're doing any kind of drop D stuff or anything like that, the strings aren't kind of going to uh, jump out the saddle like what, uh, like what you get a lot of the times on those more vintage kind of threaded saddle bridges. So yeah, very, very nice. Another nice 50 style strap. I wonder if this is another one of those 58 styles. Soon check the specs, but here we go. So that's a, looks to me, I think that's like a, a faded surf green finish. So let's check, see if it's another one of these 58s, like what we've had earlier with the, uh, the faded candy apple red and that lo lovely chocolate burst one. So we probably got it completely wrong. Oh, I haven't, no. It's all, yep, yeah, so same again. All the body, fat 50s pickups, super faded age surf green, that 54 soft V neck profile, 6105 frets. Again, just a really great, you know, on the money vintage style strap with great playability. You know, you've got uh, reverse wound pickups as well. All the kind of stuff that we sort of take for granted now, but, you know, it's, it, they're all kind of uh, really handy uh, features to have. So, great looking strap undoubtedly is going to sound great as well but we'll find out soon enough with that one right how many we've got left six left this was quite a bumper shipment more than i thought oh look at that the hits keep on coming oh that's lovely so nice i love relics but when fender really want to do it and show off they can this is another american custom guitar so again taking inspiration from new and old so it has a really nice kind of um vintage vibe to it but uh, you know a few more modern appointments so you've got that contoured heel again 20 no 21 frets on this one you've got the roasted bird's eye neck humbucker in the uh, in the neck position as well but yeah just a really killer looking guitar I bet that'll sound amazing in that middle position as well. So let's check out some of the specs, see what's going on with the pickups. Okay. Right, so it is a 9.5 to 12 inch compound radius uh, for the neck. So we've got uh, 6105 frets, uh, maple roasted bird's eye 2A grade, 60 style oval C. The sunburst is called Violin Burst on there, which is really, really pretty. It suits that ash body really nice as well. So pickup wise, we've got a Duncan Seth Lover in the neck and a hand wound Texas Telly pickup in the bridge, which is really great combination because uh, you need something with a, a kind of a little bit hotter to match up with that, you know, quite a punchy sounding uh, neck pickup, even though the Seth Lover is still kind of PAF and a, bit, a little bit more kind of vintage inspired. It does have that, um, you know, obviously extra power and warmth that the humbucker does. So you do need a, a, a bridge pickup that's going to kind of match up to it as well. Bosh. Here we go. Oh, it's a, another cover, color over color in a finish that I like as well. Looks like a faded sonic blue over some kind of three-tone burst. Got that really beaten up look on the back there as well. 
yeah, I know it's not for everybody, but like if you're into relics, it is very, very cool. And you know, in time, you know, this paint finish, I've had a couple of color over color ones and, and it does wear through with quite a bit of, uh, you know, quite quickly. So you can really add kind of your own kind of sonic stamp on things as well. So let's, let's check out some of the specs. So what we got, right. So this one is hand wound Texas special pickups, all the body, 9.5 inch radius. This one's got the uh, 6100 jumbo frets as well. Oval C neck profile, yeah, 9.5 radius. Apologies if I've said that already. Um, so yeah, kind of these, uh, they often tend to kind of hot rod up like the neck specs and the pickup specs on these kind of more sort of beaten up looking ones. So, you know, the bigger frets, the 9.5 radius with these pickups going to have that sort of really great, you know, uh, Texas blues kind of rock sound as well. Quite a nice punchy sound. And the, uh, you know, in the past I've seen the Texas special pickups take a, a little bit of a bad rap sometimes, but the, the hand wound custom shop versions sound just really, really great. So. Nice, look at this, got something very, very cool. Now, completely different to everything that we've had so far. So, we know it's a Telecaster, that's a good start. It's got a nice Lake Placid Blue aged top. Well, yes, yeah, a, a relic finish. I think that is a mahogany body, and we've got a, definitely got a roasted maple neck there and roasted fingerboard. Two P90s, it's kind of like a uh, Cabernet style guitar, but with uh, P90s in it. So let's let's check out the uh, specs of this one. See what it's actually called. So it is, according to this, just a, a limited edition P90 Tele thin line in aged Lake Placid Blue. Uh, you've got what we got body wise. Yeah, a one piece uh, Michigan mahogany body. Uh, we've got a compound radius of 9.5 to 12 inches, 60 style oval C neck profile. Uh, let's see what's going on with there. Oh, the pickups are Fender Custom Shop P90s as well. So it's a hollowed, hollowed out guitar as well. So it's got that, that F hole there as well. So I think this guitar is going to have a really nice, sweet, chimey sound when clean. But I think those P90s are really going to going to sound great when you get get some gain on with those as well so I look forward to hearing that one it's got a uh, the tele RSD bridge on there as well which works great for uh, for intonation purposes but still has that great you know brass tone that, uh, that you can't really get out of anything else so there we go three more to go we've got two brown cases and one tweed so we'll do the tweed after this one Another colour over colour. So again, in one of the ones that I like it in, so it's that black over sunburst. So it's a Tele Custom, uh, obviously 60s style. I think this is going to be similar specs to one of the ones we had earlier, but we'll just confirm quickly. So this one is a 60 Tele Custom aged black over chocolate three-tone sunburst. Uh, it's got hand wound twisted telly pickups, all the body. It's got a quartz saw maple neck with a rosewood fingerboard, 6105 frets, 9.5 inch radius, and a 60 style oval C neck shape. So, yeah, so uh, those twisted telly pickups are really, really great sounding pickups. And, and if you're more of a strap player that kind of fancies a great sounding telly, then you know, this is the one for you because you have that safety blanket of a great sounding Stratty style neck pickup with it. So really great sounding guitars these are. So, right, let's move on to the tweed case next. Lovely. So it's kind of like a 50s style version of, of that one as well. Really nice, light, I think that's the chocolate burst as well. Really nice, lightweight, 50 style Tele Custom here. So let's check out the specs of this one. So 
So this one is a 59 Tele Custom, so nice transition period style guitar. Ash body, it's got hand wound Texas Special pickups. Yeah, it's a wide fade chocolate free tone sunburst finish. You've got a 6105 frets, 9.5 inch radius, and a 59D profile neck shape. Uh, and it's a quartz horn maple neck. I'll just give you another quick look at that one. Very cool. Nice. All right, and move on to the final one. What have we got? <clears throat> Finish on another colour over colour. So, it looks to me like it's an ocean turquoise over sunburst. Yeah, so it's that old colour over colour thing. I've seen a few of these today. Just, it really varies. You see, like um, today, we've had a lot of kind of more, more relic you know, on the heavier relic side of things with a few of those nice kind of American custom guitars thrown in for good measure. But we often see it where we'll get loads of heavy relics in and then, you know, the, the next shipment might be a majority of NOS, but it's been kind of quite a, a nice mix today. So, yeah, this one was aged ocean turquoise over three-tone sunburst, hand-wound Texas Special pickups, all the body, uh, 6100 frets again for that punchy Stevie Ray kind of vibe if you want to use heavier strings. Uh, oval C neck profile and a 9.5 inch radius so yeah that's going to be a real punchy sounding uh, tone machine I wish we'd have kind of had an amp set up now Drew I feel like playing some of these but there we go I'll get back to my office job there we go so I'll give you one last little look at that one so the specs photos and stuff should be up on the website fairly soon uh, we'll get Jack in tomorrow doing some videos of them and uh, we'll try and get them edited and up on the site as soon as possible as well but just want to say uh, thanks again for watching thanks for all your support as always and um, feel free to uh, share subscribe give us a like leave a comment and that'll all be much appreciated anyway so thanks again for watching and we'll see you soon cheers bye bye